Let's say the beloved, thank you for tuning into my channel. Welcome, I hope you are getting me well from wherever you are, your humble servant, Miloko Spiritualist Master. Today, I won't take much of your time. If it's your first time watching us, please do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like and share. Today, we want to talk about negative energies. In some homes, people are living and notice that the tension are becoming more well. Things are not going so well. And uh, you are suspecting that there are some negative energy presences and you want to grow in that tendency. In some instances, people find themselves, they do not have what it needs to conduct the proper cleansing. So what can be done in the meantime? So that is what I'm teaching you today. It's very simple and very easy. Once you feel that in your home, there are negative energies, there are negative powers, there are forces that you don't, uh, uh, you don't understand it or control. It can be because you have received visitors, it can be because in your house there are more people who are coming, different energy are coming through. It can be that amongst the people who are visiting you, there are people who are care of negative energy, or you can be a victim of external attack. But in the meantime, what can you do? When you don't have the money to seek the service of a professional spiritualist to come and assist you, a religious leader, then you need an emergency. How do you solve this? then you don't need to worry. I'm giving you the easy solution. What you need? You need three things. The first thing, you need sea salt. Yes, sea salt, not table salt, sea salt. And then the second thing you need is vinegar. Any type of vinegar you can get, you need vinegar. And the third thing you need is a glass. You need a very clean glass, clear glass, which you can see through. So that what happened now, in order for you to identify if there are negative spirits in your home and to remove those spirits from your home, what one need to do? Very simple. You're going to take some of your sea salt. You take some of your sea salt. It can be a handful quantity like this. You put it inside the glass. And then you're gonna take the caption of your vinegar, which you wanna put inside the water, uh, inside the glass. And then you're gonna take water. Yeah, normal tap water. Or those who want to use still water, you can see if still water, no problem. You can put water, but you have to know where the water stands. In any quantity is up to you. It can be down, it can be up, it's fine. So any quantity of water that you put, once you put it in the glass, you need to mark where is the sign of your water. You're going to put this glass in a place where people usually, for kind, it can be your living room, your TV room, where people usually spend more time. So once you place it there, hide it. You don't place it just so anyone can see. People can see it, but we need it to absorb the energy. We don't want people to take precautions. So you can still be in your living room, but you put it somewhere hidden. Somewhere not is visible for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, come and check your glass. Check where you put your sign and the level of water. If the water goes above that sign, what you shall do, you need to remove that water and throw it outside. You rinse the glass nicely again. You redo the same ritual, which is sea salt, a caption of vinegar, and the quantity of water. You mark as well where the water stands. And the next day you gonna see, until you gonna reach a stage where the water gonna it gonna stand still or go a bit lower. That it means negative energy that will tormenting in the home have left. This mixture got the power to attract. It's like a spiritual magnet to attract any negative energy around that environment to neutralize it into that water. So I hope this gonna help you. 
I hope you can practice this. Please comment. Let us know the result. Let us know your experience with it. And those who are willing to consult, those who are having need to consult, feel free to consult with me. My Lana Day, ask for questions. Please do not forget to comment, to share, and to subscribe for those who watch for the first time. May the divine grace be upon you. May this week be blessed for you. May your house be peace from this negative energy. Let me know the result. Your humble servant. See you on our next video. Thank you for the teaching.